everybody out there, this is Seto, and today guys we're going to talk about something that I would say over the last four years of me playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I've heard grumblings about from different places, but uh, over the last two to three months um, I've been hearing a lot more grumblings more than usual from the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, especially online and in forums I read and stuff like that, and just from people I know personally in general, and that is, does Konami care about its players? A lot anymore or are they more of a gear towards just trying to make a profit now they don't care about the players as much there's a couple of things I guess you could say I could point to to say this I mean there's a couple of things you also have to keep in mind Kunami is a business they have to make supply uh, that people are going to demand for so they can make a profit supply and demand economics 101 but it, I'm not just talking in the power creep sense you know making better cards upgraded cards uh, so people will buy that, you know, that set or that product, uh, so you would want it. But it just also makes me wonder somewhat because it's something I've noticed over the course of playing Yu-Gi-Oh. The quality of stuff has gone down. Um, I can't help but feel that it could be done better, personally. Uh, for example, why not have in the Legendary Collections just have the nice mouse pad mats instead of a, just a cardboard box? You know, why not have better cards in the um, special edition boxes that we get now, like the Evil Swarm and the Gladiator Beast special edition? Why can't we have that? And especially, why does it take so dang long for OCG imports to usually make their way over here to the TCG, while vice versa, the TCG imports pretty much two to three months after we get them, the OCG get OCG gets them, and if I remember correctly, if my mind serves me correctly, they do get a special pack, I think once a year, where they get all of our, exclu our TCG exclusives. So, why can't we have something like that for the TCG? I'm not going to say and point out that Konami, as a company, is doing this badly. I would have to say I've noticed it more and more and more, um, and it's kind of becoming more glaring personally to me and to other people that Konami is not really caring about the player base as much. Look at the ban list. Look at things like this. But it's not Konami, I would say, overall. Yes, Konami is a company overall, but I would say it's more of Konami in the TCG department that is not really doing that well of a job. I feel like they're being more chillaxed or more laid back like oh people are going to buy this product so let's let's make this a super high rarity let's make this a super high rarity let's give them low quality stuff and we know they're going to buy it and we'll just make a more of a profit it feels like it's more money driven while the OCG feels more like happy go fun land you know they get better quality stuff to some extent uh, cheap you know things are not super rarity bumped uh, to the max most of the time but it's just something I'm noticing and I understand Konami's a business, but I just can't help but feel like if they just did these little things, people would be more appreciative. People would buy that product more if they did that. And I see some instances that Konami does this, but especially ever since the ban list split between the OCG and the TCG, it feels to me to some extent that the TCG people uh, in Konami that run Konami here in the United States and in Europe are pretty much going and doing their own thing. and it, you can't help but feel somewhat that the game has kind of become two separate games from the OCG and TCG. Granted, it's always been like that, but the quality, the cards, the way they run things, the way they release stuff, it just... It, I can't help but feel that like they could do it better. And a glaring example, I guess you could say in some regards, if, this, if I'm saying this correctly, is uh, the ARG circuit. If you know, uh, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! ARG has its own thing now, but they have their own tournaments all around the United States. And it wasn't until that started to become more popular that Konami of America uh, started to have better coverage in their Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments. If people recall, maybe a year or so ago before ARG really became really popular in tournament settings, Konami was really bad about reporting their big events. They would post it up two to three days later while a lot of YouTubers would have the stuff right there the next day. It was up there or a couple hours after the tournament ended. So these are just some instances I'm stating that I've seen in some respects that Konami of America is not doing the best they can for the player base. I think if they did better things like 
got us some OCG imports. Granted, I don't want everything like the OCG has, but you know, I want to play Heraldic Beast. I want to play Gagagas. I want to play, you know, Chronomalies, not even Chronomaly artifacts, just Chronomalies. I want to play, you know, all these different decks, but the OCG exclusive. And I'm not just saying that, I'm just saying like, why can't we have more mouse pads? I guess it maybe costs you a dollar or two more and I don't mind paying four or five extra bucks for a beautiful uh, pad of like a legendary collection. Like a, if you guys remember the one that had Yugi, Joey, and Kaiba, I would love that to have been a mouse pad, but they didn't do that. So it's like, it's just little things like this that make me think that they're really not caring about the player base as much and maybe just maybe if enough of us make a ruckus they will finally take notice but they haven't ever really done that to some extent unless it's hurting their wallet uh, their profit where they're mu they make their money they usually don't take notice but maybe maybe if we cross our fingers dot our I's and cross our T's um, maybe something will get done eventually if enough of us stand up and start saying something about it so that's just what this video is. It's just some good food for thought, thinking about how Konami of America, especially, not just Konami as a whole, specifically Konami of America I'm talking about, has pretty much, it doesn't seem like they're taking care of their player buddies as much as they could. If they just made a couple of adjustments here and there, I'd be personally happy. But, you know, that's just me. So what do you think? Do you think Konami is really not caring about their player base as much as they should? Or do you think they could do a better job overall? I personally think they could do a better job overall, and we would be more appreciative if, of, if they did. But that's just my thoughts. So what are your thoughts, guys? I look forward to seeing what you guys say down in the comment section and talking to you about that. And until next time, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. And remember, guys, no matter what happens, uh, just have a good old time playing some good old fun Yu-Gi-Oh. Take care, everybody. Seto Kaiba, I'm out of here, guys. Till next time.